What do you think? Was the title clickbaity enough? Hey there, little snowflakes. It's me, More Than Girl, aka Sydney. And today, we're going to talk about something a little weird. Or weirder than normal. And that is deity kin, or divine kin, or divinity kin, or god kin, or whatever you want to call it. And we are making this video because, frankly, I couldn't really find any good videos on YouTube about deity kin. So, first, what is deity kin? Let's see. Okay, here we go. God kin similar to deity kin and divine kin, or other kin who identify as a divine being. Whether this is a deity that is well known, such as feeling spiritually connected to Dionysus, or one that came to existence with the person. This definition came from other kin wiki. Yes, I'll put a description, I'll put a description, I'll put a link to the descrip- to the description. I can't speak. I'll put a link in the description of where I get all my information from because I haven't learned to do that thing where you have your video playing and like your computer screen in the corner okay okay so that's one definition and then there's the new other kin wiki has a page on divine kin also known as deity kin god kin celestial kin and angel kin or other kin who identify as divine beings, this may be a deity that already exists in the print of holy text, or one that is not known yet. And they don't have a link to deity, god, or celestial kin, but they do have one to angel kin, so let's look at that. Apparently, angel kin are um, a form of divinity kin. Um, angel kin can refer to someone who is literally an angel and a temporary human host. Like Castiel from Supernatural. No. Okay. Was an angel in a past life or identifies as an angel on a purely psychological basis. And then it goes on to have like different types of angels. I'm not going to read the whole page to you. I'll link it in the description. I don't know much about angel kin. Except that they're people who identify as angels. I really like the idea of like literally an angel and a temporary human host. Hmm, I like that idea. Um, and I think that people consider demon kin to be part of divinity kin, so we're gonna look at that page on other kin wiki, just real quick. Okay, it says demon kin are those who identify as a demon or demon-like entity, demon kin can be a myriad of different demons, and then it goes on to have, like, different demon chat, no, information pages, history, personality traits, I'll link it, because <clears throat> I don't feel like reading all that, but... While the angel and demon kin pages on other kin wiki are very long and detailed, the ones for god kin and divine kin are like two sentences. Why? And why aren't there any videos on YouTube about it? I've come across a couple of blogs on Tumblr, because that's where all the most reliable information comes from. Uh, and I really identi identify with... I really like the angel kin post. I'm not an angel by any means. Um, but I I feel it. I feel it. Um so like what brought up I do have like a weird fascination that comes in like waves with this sort of other kin. One, because I guess it's rare not the angel and demon kin, apparently there are lots of those. Um, but the god kin, people who identify as deities, because I count angels and demons as divine beings. Maybe people don't consider demons to be divine, but really, if we're talking like Abrahamic angels and demons, then what are demons but 
fallen angels, or demons were created by Lucifer, and Lucifer's a fallen angel, so really they'd be, like, divine, wouldn't they? Just, like, the bad, the bad part of divine. I am not a Christian, so I don't really know how that works. Apparently, you can be other types of angels. There was a thing on, like, pagan angels on the Angelkin page. Anyway, what this, where this um, fascination came from... Accent change. Um, about six months-ish after I learned, first learned about Therians, and was doing research... Not while I was doing research. I, um, got this idea into my head. So I write a lot. And I used to write a story with this girl. A role play. And I had this character. Actually, I had three characters. Who were literal gods. And then, like, two characters that were, like, god-esque. I was obsessed with this idea. Sort of. Only one of the gods was, like, an actual god. She was Morgan, the Celtic god. And I just felt myself kind of, like, putting my own feelings into these god characters of, like, this... Feeling of, like, sometimes I feel like a god. And I know I don't seem like that kind of person who's, like... Worship me, mortals. Uh, but sometimes I get this feeling, like, not right now, I don't have it right now, but I'm like, I'm everything. Like, I'm like, I am the creator of all- no, no. But sometimes I, like, get this feeling of, like, super connectedness, of, like, I want to start a cult. I want people to worship me. I want to spread my message. And it get, it's a really weird feeling. And then I was, like, thinking about other kin. And I was, like, are there people who identify as gods? Or am I just really weird? So I went on over to Tumblr. Because back then in the olden days of, like, 2015... That was where I got pretty much all my information from. It's bad. Um, and I went and I typed in Godkin. And what do you know? There are people. There are people who not only identify as angels and demons, but there are people who identify as gods. And it's never gods that you know about, right? It's not like Dionysus, or Aphrodite, or Athena, or Odin, or the Morrigan. It's not Isis, or Bast, or Osiris. It's some mm, possibly made-up god. I mean, obviously there's thousands and thousands and thousands of gods out there that have been worshipped, may still be worshipped, that I don't know about, that lots of people don't know about. But I'm pretty sure that these gods are Gods that have only just now manifested in said individual. And they're always really violent. Like, I never came across the god of, like, plants. Or love. Or books. Or medicine. They were always, like, bone, animal, face, blood, destruction, carnage type gods. And some of them, at least one that I actually message, because, oh, that's so cool. I was like, I was, I was hardcore back then. Now I'm like, I'm like a pillow. Really. I was so edgy. Like, I was at the epitome of edginess in like, fourth grade. Okay. And then like, through middle school and like, high school towards the end of, like, junior and senior year, then I started becoming, like, a soft person who cries when someone else cries. It, it, irrelevant. But I messaged this person, and this person had followers. Not, like, Tumblr followers. Like, followers. And they'd, they would write about stuff they like as, like, offerings and sacrifices 
and like ways that they liked people to worship them and it was like blood and like animal bones and gross stuff I mean you do you I love a little primal satanic imagery but ew ew right ew um so that is how I discovered Godkin and I just wonder why there aren't so many YouTube videos about DD Kim. Why the entries on other Ken Wiki are so pitiful. Like, is it just rare? Or do people not like to talk about it? Right? I mean, you say you're a wolf. And you may get some people being like, me, you're so cliche, wolf -a boo Or you say you're a centaur. Or a lizard. Or a chameleon. That's a lizard. Or or a jellyfish. And people are like, okay, that's cool. That's nice. But then you say, I'm a god. Like, honest to goodness. Like, you should probably worship me. I feel like people wouldn't take that as well. I haven't come across a person on the Therian Guide who identifies as, as God Ken, Deity Ken. And I'm like, why? Is it really so different? I mean, people worshipped dragons and fairies as gods at one point. Maybe even still now. So, is being a god so much different than being a dragon or a fairy and then I thought to myself really really being deity kin identifying as a god is really the most normal type of other kin you can be just think about it. Like, that may sound like, what? No. But, consider it. There is a page on Wikipedia entitled, List of People Who Have Been Considered Deities. And it's not just a bunch of self-deifying weirdos. No. It is involuntary, what? Involuntary deification, voluntary deification, and posthumous deification, and imperial cults. Imperial cults, like emperors, pharaohs, kings, you know, um, Egyptian pharaohs were considered gods in their culture. I'm getting all this off Wikipedia, so I mean, reliability, sure. Uh, but yeah, we all know that, like, the pharaohs were considered gods, right? Or, like, children of the gods. Uh, Japanese emperors were just Descendants of the goddess Amit Amitrasu, Am mm. uh, Chinese emperors, Roman emperors, obviously, uh, some Native American rulers, Natchez rulers, Dalai Lama, anyone? Dalai Lama is the reincarnation of. I'm not gonna say the name because I ca I just can't say it, but I'm pretty sure it's like the Buddha of compassion. <laughs> And people are just like, yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, and like, Gilgamesh, Emotep, Homer, Romulus and Ramus, Siddhartha Gautama, Pythagoras? These were all people, real life people, who were deified after their deaths. Apparently Romulus and Ramus, the founders of Rome were considered to be sons of Mars, the Roman god of war. And of course there's Jesus included on this page. And yeah, George Washington apparently was worshipped as Kami in Hawaiian Shinto shrines. He was a Japanese god in Hawaii.
George Washington. Again, Wikipedia, don't know how accurate this information is, but that's cool. I'm sorry. George Washington was a Japanese god. Yes. And then involuntary deification, like, someone's like, we're gonna make you a god whether you like it or not. And then, of course, you have the self-deifying weirdos, which apparently also includes Jesus. Jesus was like, yes, I am God. Like, I don't want to get too much into religion here, but really, Jesus? Really? Is that how you feel? Jesus was another kin. Obvious explanation. You know, or a witch who was just trying to avoid being burnt at the stake. I'm probably going to get some comments about that. Moving on. This obviously explains that deity kin is the most normal form of other kin. People have been claiming to be gods since, like, the beginning of time. Literally, like the beginning of time. So is it so weird for a person now to claim it? Like, okay, yeah, Jesus was doing all the woo miracle things. But, like, lots of these people, like, has the Dalai Lama ever performed a miracle? Nah, he's just a really cool, nice dude who is a Buddhist. Peace. Love. Ending suffering. I don't know. I've read a lot of books on Buddhis um, Buddhism, but, like, all the information has just gone out of my head all of a sudden. Like, I'm sorry. Godkin are valid. Maybe you're a god. Maybe I'm a god. Is it so weird to think? And then I just keep thinking about the show on Netflix, which might have also been on, on television, but I watched it on Netflix, called The Almighty Johnsons, which was about a family in New Zealand who were the human incarnations of Norse gods. Awesome. Awesome. That probably brought the idea up with me. Like, it's not so weird. I'm a god. That sounds weird. I sound like a crazy person. But is it really so crazy? Because when I first joined Theory Nation... Yeah. No. <laughs> Theory Nation. That's a YouTube channel. When I first joined Theory and Guide, someone was like, you have um, quite a few kin types, right? I have four. Uh, which... To some people, I guess, is a lot, even though I saw a girl on YouTube who had, like, 14, but we're not going to talk about that. And they asked, do you think maybe there's an explanation for why you have so many kin types? Like, maybe you're something else that, like, encompasses these kin types? And I was thinking, mm -hmm. and they're like, maybe you're a shapeshifter. And I'm like, mm, you mean with, like, shiny eyes who, like, claws their skin off when they transform into something else? Not like that. I don't know what a shapeshifter is in the other kin world. I feel like I looked it up and I don't remember anything. My bangs are annoying me. So I'm like, well, maybe I'm a god. And that's why I'm all these other things. Like, you know how some gods have associations like Bast and Cats or Anubis and Jackals? Artemis and wolves, Hera and peacocks, Aphrodite and... What are Aphrodite's animals? Poseidon and horses, right? Zeus and eagles? Odin and crows and or ravens. Maybe I'm some god who has an association with dragons, fairies, mermaids, and wolves. I am the goddess of mermaids. And dragons. These are my wings. So yeah. That's what I have to say. Because I couldn't find any serious type videos about Godkin on the YouTube. And I decided, let's make one. So I did. Look, I made it. I'll post um, links to the information in the description. Hope you liked this video, or at the very least, and completely hate it. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and most importantly, stay special, little snowflakes. Bye!